many of you know what a ketone is? About well, a, third of, a third of you. So a ketone is what happens when you go on a very high fat, very low carbohydrate diet. There are different flavors of this. The original ketone diet was the Atkins diet. And it's probably the opposite of a vegan diet. How many of you are vegans? About a quarter of you. How many of you are, like would you say, in the paleo camp? Wow, there's more paleo than vegan. This is interesting. I wouldn't have expected that. And how many of you are just flat out bulletproof? Oh, everyone. Oh my god, this is great. So there are ways to cheat and have ketones. Even if you are a fruitarian, I will teach you today how to have ketones. And this is different. This is not paleo. This is not actually possible if you eat like our ancestors did because it's cheating. It's just a healthy way of cheating. Let's talk more about that. What if we also, instead of just feeling full, we stopped being hungry? It sounds like the same thing. It's not. They're different. If you have a teeter-totter, you can put weight on either side. And what we want to do is basically unbolt the teeter-totter and throw it away. <laughs> so let's stop being hungry altogether. What if you could do that for like four to six hours where no food cravings at all? The hormone that causes that is ghrelin. So ghrelin is your hunger hormone and CCK is your fullness hormone. And we're going to hack those. That's biohacking. You drop it, you're not hungry. You might have seen that line before, less decisions to not eat. That's what we're trying to do. Just walk throughout your day liberated. Oh, it's time to fuel up. I think I'll choose healthy foods because I have no cravings. And if I skipped healthy foods, eh, I'll survive. I don't feel like I'm going to starve. The Labrador won't go crazy. Oh, ketones. So, do you need a lot of these? If you're full on Atkins, paleo, or in this, the ketone part of the Bulletproof diet from the book, then you are making quite a bit of ketone. If you use a blood meter, you might have a score of two or three, and your body doesn't really use a lot of glucose. It's using fat for fuel, which has all sorts of metabolic benefits. There's even studies around reduction of cancer from people on ketosis diets, people with epilepsy, as well as just tons of weight loss. But it turns out, to get the benefits for your willpower, you don't have to go fully into ketosis. You don't have to stop eating whatever your diet is and change it radically. It, there's a hack for that. Because a little bit of ketosis completely suppresses the hunger hormone. 0 0.3, one-tenth of the amount of ketone that will happen if you're on a full ketosis, high-fat, low-carb diet is what's required to drop ghrelin to better than pre-weight loss. Because here's the really annoying thing. And I say annoying because I like to talk about how I lost 100 pounds. It's a total lie. I think I lost like 250 pounds. Because you gain 20, lose 10, gain 20 more, lose 10, gain 20 more, lose 10, gain 20 more, lose 50, and then gain 75 more. It never sticks. And the reason it doesn't stick is that when you lose weight, your ghrelin goes up. So when you go off the diet, you're ravenous all the time. And it's really funny, but ravenous people actually eat. I, I mean, who would have thought? <laughs> but 0 0.3, just a touch of blood ketone, drops your ghrelin to better than pre-weight loss. That means if you go on a diet and you get a little bit of ketone during the diet or at the end of the diet, your hormone levels will reset and you won't be hungry like a fat person, you'll be hungry like a thin person. That's revolutionary, and they never teach you this. A slightly higher amount holds hunger constant even if you've lost 13.4% of the fat in your body. That's a lot because this is, this is meaningful stuff. L losing 13% of your fat would change your pants. You'd have to buy new ones. 